Okay, this is the uh, aileron for a super decathlon that I'm building. And um, I'm to the point where I'm ready to put in the hinge slots. Uh, it's roughed in fairly nicely and um, ready for final sanding. But I'm going to go ahead and put the slots in now. The first tool I'm going to use is going to be the thinnest blade or the CA blade. And the reason you want to do this is so that um, it's, it's a lot easier to guide the blade down through the slot. You notice I'm not using any kind of guide or anything here. I'm just going to go ahead and insert the blade on uh, pre-marked slots and just walk it back and forth like we've already shown before. And that's going to go right along the center line. We're going to go right straight through it. And I'll move down to the next one. And again, centering it, centering it over the spacing uh, for where the, where the hinges are going to line up with the uh, reinforcements in the wing. So I'm just going to insert it and rock it back and forth along that center line. <clears throat> yeah, you just walk it right straight down through. And you can feel it coming through the opposite side. And do the same thing with the third one. And the nice thing about using the air brooches is that once you've got your center line established, you have yaw control. You can move that blade back and forth and follow your center line exactly as I'm doing here. And then the last one. I'm going to be relatively close to the edge here on this one, but the, one of the nice features about the air brooch is that you can go all the way up to uh, an edge and not have to worry about splitting the wood out because you're actually cutting through the fiber at this point. So the next blade I'm going to use is going to be the 60 blade. This is for the medium hinges or the 60 size hinges. And again, we're just going to go right, rock it a little bit and go right straight down through the cut that I've already made. So we're progressively opening that slot. The air brooch is made out of 300 series. It's actually a 301 strain hardened material so it stays sharp. And also so it doesn't flex. There's very little flexure uh, through the blade while you're, while you're using it. Follow up with the uh, quarter, which is for the large scale um, Dubro uh, hinges. That's what I want to install in the wing. So we're just finishing up, going all the way through, and just cleaning that a little bit. And so at this point, I'm, I'm about a quarter of an inch from the edge. and I haven't split the wood. The brooch itself is also wide enough to give you a little bit of lateral movement. You know, if your hinges don't exactly line up with the placement of the slots on the cap. Okay, so we're going to repeat the same process. I've already got my center line established on the cap. And I've got the locations also marked for the hinge. So I'll start with the CA blade. Stick it right down on the center of that line. Rocking it back and forth on the center line. And we repeat that on the second one. Well, this cap does have reinforcement behind it. And the last one is going to be very close to the inside corner. 
So just use a little bit of yaw control. Rock it back and forth until it penetrates the reinforcement behind the cap. And then I'll repeat the process with the 60 size brooch. Again, going down through the center and walking it right back and forth over the center line down into the reinforcement. And we'll finish the slot with the quarter scale brooch.